Hey there everyone, I hope everyone is uh, staying safe and doing okay in isolation. Today's illustration is just a small uh, illustration, just a nice simple relaxed one that I wanted to do and it is very, uh, very morbid. It's a very morbid uh, piece. I'm doing it on some Araldo di Pialo paper. Oh God, I hope I've said that right. And it's hot press. It's hot pressed paper that the lovely Chantelle from Darkest Raven Designs has sent me. And I've been looking forward to using this paper. It is, uh, it is just a really nice paper. Like I'm a huge fan of hot press paper because of its smooth texture. Um, I love the Strathmore hot press uh, ready cut stuff and I've got to get some more of that but it's a little bit expensive so I haven't uh, gotten around to getting some of that yet. So with the illustration today I found a pose on Pinterest um, of this of this girl sort of just laying there in this similar form. So I took it and modified it a little bit because I don't really like to copy things a huge, like, a, like to the T. I like to take inspiration and put my own tweaks on it. And I, I had this vision in my brain of making this uh, illustration called Murder in the Lake. So this pose was perfect for uh, like a female just laying in a body of water that has been murdered. So what's happened is this angle that you're seeing her on, she's been found in a lake. She is uh, quite severely puffed up in the face, which is the look I was going for uh, because she has been beaten and slashed. Her mouth is slashed and uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, scratches on her and deep lacerations. So uh, yeah, and she's just laying on her uh, sort of side to back, twisted in that uh, motion like that. And um, I did add a bit of green into her skin to make her look a little bit more uh, dead, but I don't know, it got a bit lost, <laughs> especially when it dried a bit, but uh, it doesn't matter because, um, yeah, the point's sort of gotten across anyway. I sort of wanted to keep a little bit of colour in her anyway, just to say that it, like, she's she's been dead for, for maybe a day or so, um, but yeah, not enough to sort of really decay. And I added some, uh, like, vines sort of creeping over her legs, so to sort of imply that the water had sort of was had been at a height at one stage and it some stuff has caught on her and and obviously it's receded a bit and uh, yeah you can see some of well most of her body really So I added a few uh, lily pads and a stick uh, at this on her on her left side, but on our on our right side. And uh, I was actually going to add like a stick sort of coming up through her arm, but I ended up scrapping that at the last minute. I thought that was probably too much, <laughs> so I uh, I did that, and uh, yeah. Me, sort of just yeah I pushed that out because I just it was just an element that I, I didn't really want to do and then I um, a, a last addition was adding a rock just above the stick to by her by her knee and uh, once again it's a uh, it's a nudie uh, piece as well um, I like I have said a million times in my past videos I'm really just working with our female anatomy and female bodies and yeah just getting that nailed uh, before I move on to the next things that I am not uh, really strong at painting which is a lot I have a huge 
long list <laughs> of things to do. But uh, yeah, I my favorite things about this piece is the fact that I uh, I did draw her whole body and then made the water come up into sections where you can still see her her body form under the water. And uh, I was a little bit worried I wasn't going to pull that off, but I do think I've pulled that off. I think I've done a, a, an all right job. And uh, her face, her face was a big thing. Um, I did not want her to be pretty. She needed to look puffy as hell. Cause like I said, this poor woman has, has suffered a very traumatic uh, death. So um, yeah, she's very, very, very cut up and very, very puffy. So I, I did capture exactly what I wanted to do there with her face. And uh, also with her hair, that sort of, um, some of it's under the water. I was quite happy with how I'd done that too. And then when I uh, move on to the white gel pen, I wanted to make uh, ripples on uh, the edges of her skin and throughout the areas to sort of create that water effect and um, yeah I am, was pretty happy with that as well so uh, yeah I, I was pretty happy with this piece all round it's uh, just a nice sort of simple one it only took me uh, an hour and a half to uh, do up from start to finish. I did a quick um, out, uh, outline from my original sketch, but didn't put any detail into it because uh, I, I tend to just, I, I've really been just doing a lot of stuff from scratch again and not doing, um, not doing sketches because my sketches are always better than the version that I put down on paper and I've been trying to uh, help myself by uh, drawing it again but I can never capture what I did in in the uh, in the sketch so I think I might just go back to tracing the sketch because I'm not I'm not winning um, the other way so uh, yeah <laughs> And as you can see now, I'm just adding the white gel pen, which was my, uh, well, actually, what is this? A, oh, that's a paint pen, sorry. Um, yeah, the paint pen, my Derwent, I think it's the Derwent paint pen. I've really been enjoying using this lately. So yeah, you'll see the, the ripples that I've created along the edge of the body and that. And yeah, that's probably my favorite element of this whole illustration is those ripples. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, yes, a little bit morbid, uh, I know, but uh, yeah, I enjoyed, I enjoyed creating it. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one and stay safe everyone. Wash your hands and 1.5 meter distance from everybody. Bye.